Hey guys, I'm here to talk about the seven deadly sins scene of New York City. Um, but not only that, I'm also kind of explaining how I've learned to cope with living in this insane world here. Uh, okay, so we can start off with um, how I've learned to adjust my life um, as time has gone on. So let's talk about lust. Um, that's one of them. Uh, basically, you're not going to find your future husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, etc. at a club or a bar. I mean, good for you if that's what happened. Um, but generally, this is a, a scene where everybody's really drunk. Um, <laughs> And that's the point of going, you know, maybe they're with their girlfriends and then they split up at the end of the night. They don't even know where they're going to end up. I mean, this is something that you need to get out of your system, you know, kind of early for moving to New York City. Uh, this is not a sustainable life. <laughs> okay, so that's some of the some of that advice. Um, now that's everywhere. I mean, people any age, you know, can be doing this. So, okay, let's go to gluttony. Um, okay, there's food everywhere, and it's incredible, delicious, all that. Um, you know, there's obviously healthy food options out there too, um, on the go. But what I recommend is having some time alone with you know, your significant other, your really great friend, and just dine in, you know, create your dinner, work together on it. It would be really fun and, you know, have some classy glass of wine, you know, instead of having uh, five happy hour beers, which will be really like heavy in your stomach and you're probably going to eat some crap as well. So try to just stay at home and appreciate, you know, putting effort into making the food, I guess, and the wine. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about greed. Um, okay, so, I mean, of course, there's some people in this city who make a ton of money, and there's some people who make very little, but what everybody has is time, and that's something extremely valuable to everybody, and so my advice is just be very, um, Generous with your time with the people that you really appreciate, you know. Um, think about long-term friends or people that you find intriguing, exciting, you know. Give them your time. Or people who want to know more about the city, you know, let them know. Or friends are visiting, of course, take the time to show them around. Um, you are the host, you know. So think that way. Um, okay, laziness. Um you know, we are a city of dreamers and talkers, but is there really any doing? So I think that's something that, you know, I definitely struggle with. You know, there's so many ideas that I have, so I write them down all the time. And I'm like, oh, I could do this. I could do this. And you really got to focus. And I've been told this by many people. So um, having people like that around you is very helpful to, you know, keep that that mind on track and saying, okay, I'm going to actually make this happen. I have a quote here that I want to talk about. Um, this is on my kombucha bottle. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. So dreams are like idea clouds. Action is like rain. Make it rain. Okay. So there you go. Um, wrath. Uh, Okay, if you're vengeful based on your past, uh, you don't get along with people, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back around. I mean, people in this city will reconnect eventually, even if it's like four years from now. Um, this has happened countless times. Everybody knows each other here if you're, you know, any bit social. Um, so don't, you know, don't burn your bridges. Try to, you know communicate and try to just walk away when it's a messy situation. Um, not everybody is meant to be friends. Not everybody is meant to date. Um, so just know when to walk away. And also, you know, we're at this point where we are in charge of our own lives. And so don't, you know, don't blame anything on your upbringing or um, people you've dated anymore. Th this is all about you. It's your choices. So move on and be peaceful and happy and just say good for you. Um, now this brings up envy and uh, it's like what it says here, painful or resentful awareness of advantage, um, of an advantage enjoyed by another. So Maybe somebody else is living the life that you would like to live, but also 
understand that maybe moneyness doesn't equal happiness. Um, uh, lifestyle doesn't equal happiness. It's really inside of you that decides what happiness is. So I think that's something that, you know, we all have to work on too. And maybe turn envy into positivity. Like, wow, this person is doing so well here. Um, you know, instead of negative vibes, we put positive vibes, you know, and we, we wish them, you know, only better situations going for them. Um, especially if they're a really great person, you know, that's great. Um, and I'm sure that they will help you down the road too, because everybody's very helpful here. Um, when you need help. Okay, so then we come to pride. Now, okay, this is also vanity as well. Um, we're all self-promoting here, like me in this video. This is part of my character that I'm that I'm creating. You know, it's it's me. So I have no problem talking. You know, I love it. Everybody loves to talk. Um, but what I will say is I recommend everybody remembering where they came from. So go call your parents, call your brother, call your siblings, call your old girlfriends, old guy friends. Um, you know, always remember where you came from and appreciate that. Go visit home every once in a while. Uh, that's going to keep you balanced. That's what I've been doing. So I always feel very happy about that, you know. Uh, family's so close to your heart and that's where you want to keep it. You don't want to be estranged from that, especially in this type of city where it's, you know, there's so much to do all the time. So uh, getting out of the city is difficult, but just make that time. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, also um, on the vanity point of that, I mean, I don't wake up looking like this. I mean, maybe I do some day, some days, but, um, you know, I put makeup on. Um, I have no problem looking really, really horribly ugly <laughs> while I'm like home sleeping and that's all I want to do. I'm not trying to get made up. You know, life is not a runway show. Uh, so just embrace the ugly moments, I guess, you know, that's when you really have some self-love. Okay. So that's, um, my video of the seven deadly sins seen in New York City and how I've learned to cope with it um, and try to, I don't know, feel good inside, I guess, because I have definitely committed all of these. So, okay. Bye.